What up my YouTube dog pounds? So I was here, it's super late. I just graded eight jillion anatomy exams and physio exams. I got 50,000 general bio exams over there. I really don't have time to record a video lecture at this moment, but I had all the stuff out because I just gave my anatomy students a little pep talk for their final exam and I thought, dude, I'm here, everything's set up. Give a little shout out to my YouTube homies out there. Uh, I'm actually recording this lecture or this video clip because I'm going to ask you a question. And I'm sort of like exploring, like wh what is this? First of all, it's kind of phenomenal that something that I do in my own classes for my own students here in uh, my hometown actually is benefiting like jillions of people all over the place. Like it seriously is so freaking cool. And it kind of blows my mind. Like how, I certainly wasn't part of the vision. It's just a very interesting side effect of this uh, way that I've chosen to teach my classes. So I think about it often, like you guys out there, and I think one of my favorite things about teaching is not necessarily the content delivery, although it's super fun and learning all the new content, awesome, but I really like interacting with my students. And I've felt over time like a, a pretty significant connection to my YouTube students. Like I actually refer to you guys as like, like a group, like you're like a class, you're my YouTube class. And even though I don't have time to respond to all your comments, like I totally read every comment and like have a little moment of, oh, like I send you a little virtual hug when you send me a nice comment. And I wish that I could tell you that, but, you know, I, I can't. But I'm just kind of curious about what would be valuable to you that I could offer you beyond content? Because I offer my face-to-face -face students a lot beyond content. Some of it they like. The pep talks are probably not so bad. Some of it they don't like, the exams and the quizzes and the constant papers and writing, like that, I don't think they're so fond of that stuff. But um, I'm just kind of curious, like where are you? What, what would you like from a YouTube, like, lecture? I mean, a bunch of you guys are subscribers. And why did you subscribe? Like, what are you looking for? Are you interested in the updated video lectures, which I'm hoping to update all of Physio this summer? Or are you, you know, is there something else that would be interesting and engaging for you? So you can't make <laughs> lecture topic requests. Like, I am amazing, but I'm not going to go, like, do all this crazy research to prepare a lecture on a topic that I'm not actually, um, going to teach in my classes, and that's just because I am time crunched. And maybe someday when I'm like 80 or something, I'll totally have enough time to do that, and I'll start kicking down like special requests and dedications. That'd be awesome. But at this point, like what I could envision doing is, is offering something like maybe on a night that I'm recording a content-based lecture, I offer a little something, something extra that gets posted to a certain section. I don't know. Dream big. Tell me what would be interesting to you. No, like comment on it, whatever. How, how, comment on this video and then I will read your comments. And I won't respond to all your comments. And I probably won't respond to very many of them at all, although summer is almost here. <sighs> I think I'm going to sleep for like a month and then um, I'm going to be really excited to re-record all my physio lectures. Okay, so that was the whole point. Now I'm going to bed because I'm really tired. Okay, I hope you guys are doing something fun right now. Bye-bye.